Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am packing my bags, we about to head out the door. I'm so excited, changing my hair again. <laughs> so I do wanna make a disclaimer that this video of me changing my hair is going to go up before the video where I filmed last week where I went blonder. So it's a little bit of a mis mishap because the video where I go blonder was a sponsorship and with sponsorships, you have to send it in to the brand like two weeks, a week in advance for them to like approve it before it goes live. That would be my dogs. So a lot of you guys will be like, wait, Kim wants to go brunette, but then the next video, she's like, I went blonder. And then the video after that will probably be like caught up. Like you'll get, you guys will be completely caught up and that video will be me going brown. So to give you a long story short, a few months ago, I wanted to change my hair. So I didn't really have any ideas with it. I had just met Lindsay. So that's when we did like the long hair and we tried to color it because we, Lindsay and I both had no idea if my hair, my natural hair was going to lift light enough for me to go the perfect brown. So that's why every time I went back to her, we, we just went blonder and blonder. And thank goodness my hair was so nice to us it kept lightening up so since my hair right now is at its lightest we are able to basically pop a brown on like any brown that we want so I'm heading to Lindsay's salon right now where she works and we're gonna choose some new brown extensions and she's gonna order them and then next week I will be going back to brown. And the reason for going to brown is because, well, one, I've always wanted to be this really pretty light brown. And like I said, in order to get there, I had to be blonde. But another reason is we have wedding photos, like our first wedding photos coming up. And I would like to be a classic brown. I don't want to be this fun blonde. And it was fun while it lasted. And if even if I didn't want to be blonde, I had to go blonde anyways to go brown. That was a long explanation. Anyways, after that, I'm going to get my nails done. So that is is my plan and then after that we're gonna clean the studio because the studio looks like a tornado came in there baby what's that song a tornado flew around Isn't is that the song I have no idea what you're talking about you know that song I don't. it's like a tornado flew around the room before you came uh, no. you know what I'm talking about you're just trying to make me feel dumb I actually have no idea yeah it's like a tornado flew around the room. It's I've never heard this song in my life. Look it up! It's a good song! I've never heard Oh, whatever. Anywho, we are going to tear that room upside down today. Yesterday, we cleared down the pantry and you guys loved it. So, we're gonna tear down the, the studio because because I gotta start filming back in there and also get my life together. Bye, my love. Bye. I'm gonna miss you so much. Miss too. Will you miss me <laughs> a lot? Hey, how much do you love me? A lot. If you could, if you could measure the love you have for me. My love for you cannot be measured. <laughs> Wait, that was kind of cute. I know. You should work for Hallmark and like write cards. I think you'd be really good at it. Did you show your license? I should, huh? Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Give kiss. <laughs> you need to go. <laughs> Give kiss. I already did. <laughs> Good. Does anyone else annoy their significant other or is it just me? Boys, mommy's going to uh, be a new woman and go change her hair again because I'm so annoying, literally so annoying. I think I'm going to stop by Starbucks and get Lindsay a Starbucks and get myself one too. The Starbucks by our house, literally for the last, ooh, let me know if you're a barista and this is true. Sometimes I feel like they're lying to me, but I don't think so. Um, so the Starbucks by our place has been out of matcha for like, I would say almost two weeks now. And so every time I go, I want matcha and they don't have it. So I keep trying and trying, hoping that they'll finally tell me they have matcha. Oh, you guys, I have been so obsessed with uh, this tote bag that OC Picnics um, had their friend Kat's aesthetic, I think. I'll link their information down below. But I just reached out to her and asked her to make me another tote because I use this all the time and I love it so much. And I was like, girl, let me support your small business. And so she's making me another tote and I'm so, so excited. It was super affordable too. So definitely hit her up if you guys want custom totes. She did, she does like, um, I think this is called like acrylic paint. She doesn't do like embroidery, embroidery or anything, but I'm having her custom make me another one with my name on it. Cause 
I use this one all the time. I don't, to be honest, I don't really touch my like higher end bags unless I'm like going somewhere special. Whenever I'm going to run errands or something, I love something like this because it's just so comfortable and you can fit a lot in there. Anywho, let me go to Starbucks. Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks today. How can I help you? Hi, are you guys um, by any chance still out of the matcha? We have our matcha actually. <gasps> oh, yay. Okay. Um. Can I have a grande matcha green tea ice with extra soy? You got it. Anything else? Um, and then can I have grande strawberry acai refresher? Yeah, no problem. And then do you guys have a ham and Swiss panini? Yeah, we do have a ham and Swiss. Can I have one of those, oh, please? Oh, I'm actually so sorry. Oh, we have ham and Swiss. oh you don't have it? Okay, um, then I'll just have a birthday cake pop. A birthday cake pop? Yeah, yes. No problem. And that's it for today. Okay, that's gonna be 35, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, they had the matcha. I'm so happy. <laughs> I have to tell Michelle. Michelle and I literally go to the Starbucks like every weekend when she's here and or when yeah every weekend when she's here and we always pray we always pray we're like please 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 have the matcha and they never do and I'm so excited I'm gonna tell her right now I just wanted to let you know that the Starbucks we go to has matcha again I'm so excited you guys look at this cute charm I showed you guys this cute charm the other day that one of my subscribers I think the her business is called shop by muse she made it for me it's a iPhone keychain but it got in the way of me like doing things because I'm constant this is my this is my work right here like everything I do is on my phone and it was starting to get tangled in things so I just hang it in my car down here but oh my god I'm so excited for this matcha god it's a beautiful day to save lives <laughs> that's from Grey's Anatomy if you guys know comment down below but it's a beautiful day to be alive I'm parked now you guys I got strawberry um, I got a strawberry acai refresher for Lindsay her favorite one of her favorite drinks at Starbucks is a matcha green tea with like a scoop of strawberry or something like that strawberry see i was gonna order that for her but i didn't know the exact order so i'm gonna have to ask her today because i always like to know like what my nail technician's favorite starbucks drink is and what my hair person's favorite starbucks drink is i like to know people's favorite starbucks drinks because nothing makes people people happier than showing up with this baby and being like, hello, I love you and I thought of you, surprise. I think it's like the cute, it's the little things, you know? It's the little things that really make an impact and show people that you care for care about them and you are thinking about them. And it could like brighten up someone's day. I also got her a cake top here. And I got myself, oh my God, the best thing ever. Mmm, beautiful. I always get the matcha green tea um, ice with soy milk. Soy milk is so good, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna head to the salon, the salon now. <laughs> I'm here, you guys. Look how cute. I wanted to show you. Oh, there's like a, there's a person walking behind me. I wanted to show you how freaking cute. I don't know if you can see. I bought this brawl. I say brawl really weird. I'm so sorry. Like there are certain words that I like can't say right in English. You guys are well aware of that. Anyways, I bought this sports brawl on Amazon. It was a pack of two. I got a white and a black. Oh my goodness, such good material and so comfortable. You guys know um, when you're wearing like a sports bra or any other bra, when it's like too tight and it like suffocates your chest and you feel like you can't breathe and when you're sitting there, you're like huffing and puffing. I absolutely hate those. This is so comfortable. Like, I'm actually impressed. It feels like the same material as Lululemon uh, leggings that everyone's obs obsessed with. Like, it's really stretchy and feels really expensive. I'll try to link this down below. I think I can find the link. I bought, like, a bunch of uh, sportswear. But, oh my goodness. Oh, sorry for the nips. I love them. I love the white. And if you look closely, there's, like, ridges. And then, also, the bottom is a little bit tighter. So, it cinches in. But it's not, like, the tight where it suffocates you. It's really form-fitting I love it I got it in white and black it's so cute you guys oh my goodness sorry my nips are out I highly recommend like I love this so much it's oh I'm obsessed it's so cute anywho I'm going to I'm gonna put my mask on I'm gonna go you guys I am finally home I just had a wild day it's eight o'clock at night I left the house at like two or three o'clock I was supposed to be home by like five o'clock um basically long story short I 
have been well I have a nail I have a nail technician but he's really really busy and busy and booked and I could not get an appointment with him in May our schedules like didn't fit with each other so I was like it's okay I'm gonna go look for a nail salon in the new area and try to find someone right so I was down in Temecula that's where I get my hair done and I was like oh I'm already down here and Temecula is kind of like in my opinion like the Orange County of the Inland Empire area, if that makes sense. Like it's more, they have like, they have like more options there. So I was like, there has to be a nail salon here, right? By the way, this is like story time. So I looked up Yelp, I looked on Yelp and I found this place. It had awesome reviews. Like it was literally like four out of five stars. All the pictures were great. Like everybody was saying such amazing things. I walked in, I asked for a pedicure and um, a full set. Cause you, if you guys didn't notice, I like didn't have nails. I will insert a photo right here of my nails. I was so shocked and I'm not really picky with my nails. I'm, I'm really understanding when it comes to getting my nails done just because I grew up in a nail salon. Like I would help out at my sister's nail salon ever since I was like eight. So I get it. Like I get that some customers just can be so picky and um, I'm not really picky, but at the same time, like I understand both sides. I understand that like you need to like do your best work. And then I also understand that it's the client's hard earned money and they're gonna pay you for the service. So you kind of have to meet at like the a medium here, but anywho, long story short, I'm not that picky when I'm at the nail salon, but you guys, this was like one of the weirdest experiences I've ever had. So she put the powder, she put the acrylic on, everything was fine, like my my toes are fine. I mean, yeah, I honestly, my toes are fine. Like they're cute, like they whatever, like they look like this, like they're cute. The only thing that I was like super interest, oh, well, I mean the paint job is okay, but the only thing that I was like super like curious about was they didn't use um, the cuticle cutters. They use like this ball thing, this ball machine to like buff out the cuticles, which I haven't seen. I mean, I haven't worked at my sister's salon in like years. So I, I don't know if that's like a new thing, but anywho, uh, uh, aside from the pedicure thing. So she put the acrylic on and then she started doing the powder. And you guys, I have never seen someone take the biggest, the biggest like amount of acrylic powder before in my life. And she just like slapped it on and then she like wiggled it and like made sure that it covered my whole nail. And I'll insert that photo again. It was so thick. So I kindly asked her, I was like, oh, like, are you going to file it thinner? Cause I really like, um, you know, when my nails look a little bit more natural. And she was like, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Oh, and she was so nice. Like this is the part of the reason why I couldn't say anything. Cause she was just so nice. Like I didn't, there were like no right, I feel like I couldn't find the right words to like express how I felt. I didn't want to come off mean cause she didn't like, I didn't want her to feel like she did anything wrong. Like I just, ugh, I just felt bad. Anywho, long story short, she, she filed it down, but it was still very thick and the shape of it was so wonky and weird. And originally I came in because I wanted French tip, which I love, love French tip on oval nails. And I told her, it's okay, I'll just do uh, neutral nails. Cause I was like, at least they're neutral, right? So it's super thick and then she starts painting them and literally, She's just like this. She's just like painting it on. She's not even like painting it in the lines. She's literally just like painting it on like this. And I was like, you know what? We have reached the end of it. I'm just gonna leave. So I paid, I paid in full and I left and I literally called this nail salon across the street and I was like, hi, this is the situation. I just got my nails done and I would like for you to fix it if you have time. And this lady was so, so nice. If you guys are in the Temecula area, it's called Health like your health, health, healthy nails and spa and ask for young. She was so nice. She fixed my nails and this is what they look like now. She was like, okay, girl, I have to like buff it down and grind all the acrylic down. And then she reshaped and repainted it for me. And also when the other girl was doing my nails at the first salon, she made me bleed like multiple times and it hurt so much. But these are my nails now. They look way better. I went with OPI uh, bubble bath. It's such a good neutral color. But yes, so that took four hours. Four hours, you guys. I just got home, but um, I posted it on Instagram because I was I was so like, 
you know? So I posted it on Instagram and so many of you were like, what salon is this? And I was like, ah. Uh. Um, I was like, I felt really bad. I like, I don't wanna like, she, it wasn't, ah. Uh. It was, the service wasn't bad. The place is not bad. So I'm not gonna bash on the place. It was just my experience there, you know? But it's funny because I was talking to my friend Jessica who like lives down the street and she was like, girl, that's where I go. And I was like, oh my God, you should have told me which girl you went to or go to there. I would have uh, booked with her. But anywho, at least the nails look way better, right? We're, we're, we're doing better now. So I have nails, but the cuts still hurt. And I... I called my um, nail technician that comes to my house and he's available in three weeks So I booked ahead of time. So I'm excited you guys his work is amazing But here anyways, that was my dilemma. Sorry for the long story time now that I'm home and it's 8 o'clock I'm like trying to figure out something to eat real quick and then I'm gonna literally conquer this studio Yeah, we're doing it tonight Riley Hi, Papa. How's the Oreo? You love it? <laughs> what fishy do you have, mister? Mister, mister, what fishy do you have? What's going on here? Oh my god, it's your watermelon? Uh-oh, you guys see? Mr. Casper's watermelon ball is right next to Riley. So he's like, mom, what do I do? Do you want me to get it for you? Casper, you want me to get it for you? Yeah? Are you gonna go get it? Okay, you guys, this is the door to the studio slash second guest room. This uh, love seat sofa right here, uh, we got from Living Spaces and it pulls out to be a queen size bed and it's the most comfortable thing ever. That's why we decided to keep it in the studio because while I'm filming, um, now Carlos has a place to sit. He usually sits behind the camera and he used to sit on the floor. <laughs> so now he has um, a sofa to sit on and, well, when this is clean. And um, I also got like a side desk so he can put his laptop and stuff. So this will be really cute. I, I mean, I'm so embarrassed showing you guys this, but we've lived here for how many months now and I really neglected this room. There are two rooms in our house that I do not care for. It's the master bedroom and the um, this room right here. And not that I don't care for it, but I just haven't had any inspiration to know what to do with it. So that's why it's been like this. But now that I know what I wanna do with my master bedroom, and I know exactly like what Carlos and I both want, I'm excited for the master bedroom. But the studio, it's gonna be pretty basic, but we do need to clean it up. There's just so much shit, man. Like all of this makeup, we have like lights everywhere. We have more makeup, a lot of like container stuff. If you guys remember these containers right here, these are from Ikea, super inexpensive, very affordable. They are actually, um, do you remember Carlos's old TV stand? Um, so I am gonna reuse them for my makeup room to organize and, and store things. Like we have all of these we need to put away. And then this room I love because it has this mini walk-in closet. Look at all of this, you guys. Look how big this closet is. Like you can literally sleep in here. Like. Literally 10 people can fit in here. It's so big. So this is just gonna be my storage closet, as you guys can tell. This is from our old place. We have another one in the hallway under the dog watercoloring photo. So I'm thinking about keeping this on the side and then stacking the um, acrylic drawers at the top, but we just have like makeup galore. But I'm excited to organize this right here. And then this roly-poly thing, 
I'm going to take apart and organize and then stick her in there. And then I'm thinking about sticking the two silver things in this corner so when you walk in, you know, there's a lot of room. And then there's also room on here on top of the shelf as well. Or honestly, if I wanted to, I could like hang a few things over here. Maybe like coats or dresses that I don't wear often. <laughs> We're on our way to the Dollar Tree today! Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. Like, so excited. A subscriber actually recommended for me to go to this Dollar Tree because I posted on Instagram and I was like, every single Dollar Tree has these awesome organizational bins and mine does not. And she was like, oh my god, Kim, you have to go to this one that's a little bit like further away. But I looked it up on Yelp and it's huge. So I'm excited to take you guys with us. And then I don't know what we're doing the rest of the night, but I would really like to do a little organizational things. I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> and donate a few things. To the Michelle and Clem <laughs> Foundation. <laughs> I also really want Rita's, but we'll see. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, we're here, you guys. Look how big it is. Oh look my god! Like they spent money on this, this is Dollar the, Tree. This is the biggest Dollar Tree I've ever seen. It takes up this whole corner. Where should I go, Mom? Here, here yeah. or there? Park to the right. Oh, what air? Or do you want to park to the left? And then know. there's a Starbucks drive-through. It said that it was closing at nine, and it's closing at eight. We have 15 minutes. My hair extensions are all over the place. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're looking for organization bins. Wait, is that it? No, no that's no, no. spring stuff. Oh, okay. It's still really cute though. No, it's not. Keep walking. I'll keep walking. <laughs> Wait, am I going crazy? No, you're probably not there yet. These are amazing. I literally have packs and packs of these. They're like little containers. This whole pack of 10 is a dollar. Uh, do you remember I got almost some? Yeah. This is like all I see. This, right? I don't know, bro. Th those containers are kind of cool. Container. Oh. Oh, found it. Michelle found it. Look, look, look. Oh my god. She's so excited. <laughs> oh, I have these. Those are nice. For a dollar. Those are nice. I was gonna order online at the dollartree.com, but you have to buy in bulk. You have to buy 36 of them. Holy crap. I know. You've had those before. Yeah, these are nice. Okay, this is what it looks like. I really like that container, but that's not the lid. So I'm sad about that. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all of this. Look at this. This is special, not worth a dollar. What? <laughs> Million. Millions. Wow. The highest bidder. Wow. Yeah, highest bidder. I don't see any bids. <laughs> <laughs> also, the Dollar Tree is where to be if you're looking for hair accessories, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like, this is it right here. This is it. I love buying my hair ties here. Without them, anyways. Perfect. So, don't you there it? Yes, two of those. You got it. Um, can I also get extra ice in both of them? Yeah, extra sure, ice, of course. That's all. Alright, I'll see you at the one with the 890. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Um, we went to the Dollar Tree and was very disappointed that we didn't find anything. <laughs> um, there was nothing that we like needed, so you know. Do you still get points? Yeah, I used my stars for the first time today. <laughs> They're so weird. I gave him my thing and he was like, do you want to use your stars? And I was like, what? No, thank you. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, do you want to use your stars? And I was like, what? I save up my stars for the paninis. I shouldn't have used my stars. Because <laughs> the paninis are so and I don't even come darn to expensive. Anymore. Yeah, I always save my stars for the paninis because they're so expensive. Oh, whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh, without the berries? Uh, the berries just change the color. Oh, it's the, like oh my gosh, I didn't oh, even wow. know. Thank I was you. like, this is water. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. We got a very, very hibiscus without the berries, and I didn't know the berries was what made it pink. I oh thought it was God. the syrup. Same. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has like a, no, it doesn't even have a tip. It's good? Um, it reminds me of college. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Kind of feel. Oh my God! OCC. The end tastes like I ate like like, r like roots. Roots? <laughs> roots? Yeah, I feel like I ate roots, mom. Thanks for the Starbucks, mom. You're welcome. I am so happy. Oma made me fresh. <laughs> Oma made me fresh birria. I was about to say that because <laughs> we were talking about that. Oma made me fresh kimchi. You guys.
We should have made spam and rice. Shut up. Uh, Sit down. <laughs> tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow, spam and rice. We have spring rolls to eat, Mom. Oh, I have spring rolls. Spam, spam and rice next time. Mm -hmm. That's always something to eat. Oh my gosh. Who's still outside? Riley. Yeah. I left the door open. Uh oh. Delicious. So good. Like you guys. Okay, you don't want to focus? It's fine. Mmm. I'm in heaven. Mom, it tastes amazing. Mm hmm. Oh my god. But it tastes even better out like from mm -hmm. Target. I love Madeline. I love Madeline. It tastes even better from Target. Like straight, like out of Target, you know? Mm hmm. Isn't it good? Mm hmm. Are you okay? I didn't taste the butter. Do <laughs> you remember when I used to say that all the time? Yeah. Okay, I get it. I know it annoyed you. Jeez. What? <laughs> What do they do? I know, it's so good. Oh, I put too much water, Mom. Is it too? I don't know. I'm going to get a spoon real quick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Isn't it good? Hmm? Hmm. Hey, your water's really boiling, no? I'm getting rich tonight. Needle, needle. Oh, too much water. Not good? I don't know why I put too much water. I'm so excited, you guys. I don't want to, you I know, know. I know, I you know. Do that ramen mukbang we did the other weekend. Oh my ever. gosh. We should do it again. It was so good. Isn't the kimchi good? Oh my god. The kimchi is so good. Oma knows to give me these, huh? Why, why am I seeing so many? Mm, I don't know. Oma loves me. I love you, Oma. Don't mind me just sodium infusing my ramen. <laughs> Too much water? No, it's just I know when the bean sprouts go in, oh. it waters it down so much. Okay, I had ramen last night, but it didn't taste this good. You're eating kimchi with it. Mm. Like, just made kimchi, girl. We are making shrimp. They're not ready yet. I didn't vlog all day, but we're gonna show you guys what we're eating for dinner. So we have spam and rice and egg for Carlos, and then we're gonna roll. I'm over here on sauce duty, so I'm taking care of this right now. Hi. <laughs> you guys, I can't find my chopper, which I'm very sad about. Mm. Yummy. This sauce is for the spring rolls. Ugh. Every time. Every time. Every time I cry. Mm -hmm. You know that song? Hello. I don't know how it goes anymore. It's old though. That's an old song. Who sings that song? I'm fun. I'm when I need you, baby. Is that Britney Spears? Every time I sing. Or Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. Agu Agu. Mm -hmm. I think it's Britney. I can just like see her really sad in a corner. No, because I can't see um Christina oh. Aguilera. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of rice. What was I here for? Guess I need you, baby. I know you know. Thank you. Oh, the shrimp is amazing. We love the shrimp. Um, no, because the spam's already so salty. Okay. Yeah. This is for friend. Thank you, friend. We have mom in the kitchen. Hello. Hi. Putting more cucumbers. What's Sunday in Spanish? Domingo. What is Saturday? Sabado. 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 <laughs> We're getting places, you guys. We are. What's Wednesday? N mirrorless. Mirrorless. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the I week. I really need, okay, I'm gonna learn the days of the week. Okay, Monday, what's Monday, friend? Lunes. 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 Think of the moon, Monday, moon, Lunes. Lunes, I don't know how she made that connection. <laughs> Luna, like Luna. Oh, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. What's Tuesday? What's Tuesday? Martes. 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 And then Wednesday is Miercoles. And then what's Thursday? Jueves. If someone is trying to speak 
Spanish. Yes. Would you rather them like really try? Or say it like American. Or say it American. Cause like when you teach me, I say it in Spanish, but then I get comments like, Kim is so annoying that she like tries. And I'm just like, but. What? I, but shouldn't you? But I was like, but I'm trying my best. Yeah, I think that's, I think. But like I would never, like if I'm trying, I wouldn't be like Domingo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. People like, are out to get me. Y'all surprise me how messed up y'all are. I think that one. Wow, you guys, there's a feast happening. Wait, babe, I'm sitting here, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, You've got the water, the rice paper, the lettuce, and the cucumbers. We got the sim. Sim! Sim! Oh my god, the cucumbers look so cute! Then we got Pam and uh, fried eggs. Fried eggs. Fried Yay, eggs. Yay, what happened to these? You want to try first? Yes, what is it called? What is it called? Genip Tangatu. Kimchi Tangatu. Genip. Genip. Genip Tangatu. Tangatu. Oh, say it again. Genip Kanaji. You no, know, you can't just spell out words, babe. W was that right? Close? Close, close. Okay, so Genip. 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 Genip is the leaf. Genip Tangatu is like the seat, like just put together, yeah. Genip Tangatu. Genip. Genip Tangatu. Oh, Genip. Yeah. Tang Tang Let me see your wrist. Tang Oh, it's hard, man. Okay, what you're gonna do is take your chopsticks and like grab rice with them. Right, right. Okay, that's it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, do you wanna try one, friend? Sure. Is it like, does it taste like kimchi? Mmm, yeah. <gasps> kimchi! I need my kimchi. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna give you like not a huge one. Do I need a lot of rice, Mom? Um, that's up to you. Thanks, friend. Ooh, mm -hmm. we're excited. Ooh. So just like eat it rice. with the rice? Yeah, just yes. eat it with the rice. Bon appetit. Well, you guys try, yeah. Mm. Oh, wow. With Korean barbecue? Mm -hmm. That's not oh. bad at all. You like it? Yeah. Here. With I Korean know. barbecue. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna get kimchi. The weird thing about it is that, is that- Oh, thanks, mom. It tastes like pickles, mm. but it doesn't taste like- Here, baby. Extremely like pickles. Michelle made the eggs and they're so beautiful. Look, nice and thin. They are beautiful. Oh, here you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, Michelle, your eggs. Such a beauty. Have some spam, mom. Okay. Oh, I kind of want it on my rice. Mmm. Oh crap. Oh my gosh, I love spam. Oh, oh mom made new kimchi and it's so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the smell of the garlic. Wait, I'm so some happy garlic. you like spam. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you, Bubs. I like the low sodium one. We love sodium. No, the low sodium one because oh, it, the low sodium yeah, one. Yeah, it doesn't good. it doesn't yeah. taste like super, you know? I can tolerate the saltiness of it. But like some of the some of the mukbangers that you guys watch that eat like straight up oh, like a brick of it? Yeah, I'm like, oh dang. Very Korean of them. That's crazy. I don't know how they do that. I guess it's like me eating sweets, huh? Mm, I don't know, eating a block of Cause spam I can eat, is pretty uh Because I can eat a whole pound cake pretty easily. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I guess it's the same, huh? Oh my god. You like? The rice could be better, y'all. Sorry. It's okay. Mm. A little less water. It's okay. It's okay. It's better hard than soggy, right? True. Mm-hmm. Oh, this leaf with a pork belly? Mm-hmm. You know what leaf that is, right? It's the one that you don't like, right? Mm-hmm. That's the only way I'll eat it. Mm. Are you excited for Rita's? Yeah. I'm so excited. I love your enthusiasm towards Rita's. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. If you guys have never had a Rita's, yeah. make sure you guys try it when you ever see it. We're in the plaza. And then you make a left, and Rita's is on your left. You'll see it. There's a Rouse here. It's right next to Starbucks. Rita's oh, is right next to Starbucks. Okay. <gasps> and a Subway. Tacos. Rita's, Rita's, Rita's. Tacos. Tacos, 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 tacos. Oh, I'm so excited. So Rita's is a like ice custard place um, and I used to have it all the time growing up in Pennsylvania. It was like a summer thing. This is the one we're going to right here. And it's next to a Starbucks. What a coincidence. Oh my God, look at this new one they have. Nickelodeon slime. I love the vibes in here. Oh, yes. They didn't have cherry, you guys. They only had black cherry. And they didn't have 
sorry. It's okay. And they didn't have green apple either. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So the top has custard and the bottom has custard and their custard is the best. And today I got the black cherry ice flavor. Oh, babe, mm. try mine. Oh, the strawberry one's good. Try mine, babe. Oh, that's good. I like black cherry. Mm. You want some? Oh, okay. no, thank you. The strawberry one's bomb. Um, so when I was growing up in Pennsylvania, every summer this was like a thing. I remember there was a Rita's in front of like Old Navy or something like that. And my brother would try to take me all the time in the summertime. That's fun. And it was the, it was like our only Rita, so it was like super packed in town. Mm. And I think they closed it. I don't remember seeing it anymore the last time I was there. Oh yeah, because you guys are in a small town, I forgot. Yeah. Mmm. The best custard ever. I know it's kind of weird. When I first introduced this to Michelle, she thought the concept was weird. She was like, ew, custard on ice. But after she had it, she was like, oh my God, it's like the best thing ever. And if you don't want the ice part, you can just get custard and they'll mix it like, um, like Dairy Queen with like Heath bars or like candy bars. Mm. Their custard is so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Perfect. Oh, <gasps> bub, three, awesome. three, three. Oh, snap. Perfect Saturday date day treat. Hello. Hello. What are you eating? Rita, silly. What flavor did you get? Black cherry. I think I already went over all this. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> um, uh, I'm kind of sad. I really wish that they had the green apple one, but the strawberry one's pretty good, so I'm not, like, complaining at all. There used to be a Rita's next to my mom's house, mm -hmm. but then they closed down. I was so happy when I moved to California because it was kind of like a little piece of home from PA. Right. And then when we moved here and we found out there was a Rita's, I was so happy. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of Rita's. The only like Italian ice kind of custard place that I've ever heard of was, oh man, what is it called? And it always got packed too. Uh, Golden Spoon. No, 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 no. Oh. Um, it was like, it was Italian. Like the name was like, it, it sounded Italian, but I don't remember. Was it intestine? Honestly, I don't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up or I'll figure it out somehow. It was like an Italian sounding name. I think it started with an M. I'm not sure. I really I don't, don't remember, but I remember one time I went with my friends and it was super packed and we were just like, yeah, it's not happening today. Oh, there's also this other place. I don't know if you guys have ever tried it. It's um the one that I know about. The one that I've been to is in Cyprus, but I, I think there's also one in Costa Mesa. I don't know if it's still open. It was like where, by kind of like where the Triangle Square was or the Triangle or whatever it's called now. And it's called, um, oh my gosh, Zero Degrees? I think it's called Zero Degrees? I don't know, but they make- Zero ma Degrees is where we get our drinks. Oh, no, no, what was it yeah. called? Yeah, ah, uh, Frostbites. Mm. I think it was, oh my gosh, my names are all over the place. I'll let you guys know what the place is called, but it's so good because, I don't know if you can get custard, I think you can, but the combination of like their ice is crazy. Like there's this one where you can get that it tastes like a like a strawberry starburst. Oh. Or like a pink starburst. There's one that makes it taste like a sour uh, a sour gummy worm. Mm. Um there's a taro one. Mm. The taro one's actually pretty good. Oh, uh, they also have one that they can make it taste like Captain Crunch. Mm. It's really it's like really it's really good. When my mom comes next weekend, yeah, we should take the kids here. Okay. And then when kids, Kim's son comes, and then when Tori and Chelsea and Nico come. Okay. I don't think they've had it. Because I, I don't see a lot of Rita's in Orange County. Yeah, I don't think they have either. But black cherry is good. I think I like it more than cherry cherry. Oh, really? Yeah. It's more subtle, huh? Slutty? Subtle. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's more subtle. Yeah, it's slutty. I like it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>
so excited. If you like seaweed, you would like this. Oh, I know. I, yeah, I bet I would. It looks good. Oh, As look at all of that. Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kim and Carlos. I hope you like this cute board for my friend PB Corner, uh, PB underscore Corner on Instagram. I'm so thankful to you, Kim, for posting about us and trying our baked goods. Love, Melinda. At oh, Epic Baked Goods. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Melinda is the one that makes mm -hmm. those like bomb ass uh, ube brownies. Yeah, yeah. I oh remember. my God, I love Epic Baked Goods. Thank you. Oh, this is so sweet. So these are her friends. <laughs> Kim and Carlos on a cutting board. Look, Caspi. Now we have a place to cut your patties on. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you, PB Corners, and thank you, Melinda. Thank you. Aaron Shalitos makes my favorite chamoy dip. Oh, the rim dip? Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Kim and Carlos, we're so glad you guys love the candies and fruit dip. We sent more gushers. Ooh. Ooh and fruit dip to keep you guys stocked up. We also included a few more items. We, sp we sent mango slices, watermelon slices, and sour patch watermelon. Enjoy. Ooh. Angela, Aaron Shalitos. That's their name on Instagram, you guys. They make the best rim dip I've ever had. And what's my favorite, the Gushers? Yes. I love the Gushers. You love the Gushers. Yeah, so they make like these homemade. Ooh, are and, these the watermelons? Yeah, these are watermelon. Nice. They're so good. They sent up. Like, we always have these in our pantry. And the Gushers are my favorite. If you guys order from Aaron's Chilitos, um, make sure you guys order the Gushers. Gushers my favorite, are what are my favorite Gushers? The blue? Um, I think you like the blue ones. Yeah. I think next time I order, I wonder if I can ask her to just do the blue ones. Oh, that's hard though because... Is it hard? Well, because it's like a Gusher pack, so she would have to separate all the blue ones. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> That's a lot of work for her. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of work. Yeah, no, never mind. Kim. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no. What happened? She's from Canada. Oh, I thought something broke. That's why I was like, oh. Ketchup lace chips. What? Ketchup lace chips. Oh. She's from Canada. Oh, Canada's got some fun stuff, huh? They also have free health care. <laughs> Wait. Beans with maple syrup? That's, that is so crazy. Beans with maple syrup. Wow. Okay, Amy. Wait, okay. I love. She said, now for the snacks. I live in a super small community on, in Ontario, Canada of about 350 people. It's about 2.5 hours from Toronto. I've sent some definitely defining, definingly, defining. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I've sent some definingly Canadian snacks for you, Carlos, Michelle, and whoever else wants to try. There's ketchup flavored potato chips, bless you, Rocky. My favorite chocolate bar, coffee crisp, some maple syrup, probably the most Can Canadian thing. Oh, this is, I really want to try this. Some ma- what broke? Oh, I don't know. Some maple beans, make sure to heat them up first. Some Smarties, what Americans call Smarties, we call Rockets, and they're- usually reserved for Halloween. And finally, some kinder, is it kinder? Kinder bars? I think so. Eggs with toys inside. I think for legal reasons, the US can't have the toys, but here each egg has a different toy inside. Oh. Please enjoy, and I would love if you tried some things on camera. Thanks again for y sharing your life and just being you. Amy Rogers. Aww. Amy, this is the best gift ever. I Wait. love. That's so cute. Maple syrup from Canada. I want to try that. Ooh. I love trying new things from other countries. That's so fun. Uh, if you guys live in other countries, can you share one snack with us? And if you live in Germany, can you please send us candy? Smarties. <laughs> Have you ever tried German candy? German uh, chocolate? No. It I is the most milkiest, like softest candy, like milk chocolate ever. Ooh, what broke? Chris. I don't know. Oh, the I Kinder wanna... Bar broke. Oh. Oh man. It smells so good too. Are those the eggs? Yeah. What? Really? Oh, it was covered. These were, it, it, the chocolate was covering oh, these. Oh, so the chocolate bar broke and inside the chocolate bar, this is what Amy was talking about, that in the yeah. US, you don't get toys inside the chocolate bar. I remember when we were younger, we used to have stuff. Like, oh, like remember that, remember that thing called the Wonder Ball? Like what's in the Wonder Ball thing? No. 
What is this? Oh, Sorry, I Bubs. I didn't have much of a fun childhood like I you. I got a fish. <laughs> I got a fish. I didn't get a fish. I got something else. I got a fish. And then we have a coffee. Oh, ooh, can we try this on camera? This is a Canadian candy coffee crisp. You want to try it now? <gasps> Smarties! Oh, okay, I'm going to try Smarties. Look, it rolls back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Does it focus on you? Because I just put the fish in front of the camera. I thought this was expired, but I was going to eat it anyways. Oh wow, this is so cool. Hey, is Smarties like our M&M? &M? No, Smarties are the um... This is chocolate. Oh. <laughs> what we call Smarties are the ones that look like pills. Oh. Do you remember? Yeah, I hate those. They're all powdery. What? I love them. She wrote in here. Let me read it again. Hmm. Good. I'm gonna try this coffee, Chris. Amy, this is like the best moment of my life. So if you're watching this, I just want you to know that you're making me very happy. So I love trying food from other countries. This is awesome. Oh, how is it? Mmm. It's good. I honestly can't wait to try that maple syrup. Oh my god, baby, try this. That shit's good. Ketchup chips. Mmm. Oh my god. Ketchup in a bag. If ketchup was a bag, yeah. that is strong. Mm. Hey, the color is like kind of purpley. It's not red. Okay, ready? Yeah. Straight up ketchup? Straight up ketchup. Mmm, but good. Straight up ketchup. They're not bad though. They're good. Mm -hmm. Michelle, you... would, Michelle would hate those though. Oh, Michelle doesn't like tomatoes. Or ketchup. She might eat these though. No, that tastes too much like ketchup. Oh my goodness. Thank you, you guys. That was so sweet. This is my favorite. I love it this too. This is so good. That's really good. I should get like mini pancakes, you know, like the ones I can just microwave real quick. And then I'll go ahead and try your uh, uh, maple syrup because I really want to try it. Thank you, Amy. So, yeah, just make sure to look out for that vlog. It's going to happen. I'm it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to go get some mini pancakes.